Good morning, everybody. This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where usually I help you learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. But today is a little different. Today I have a new product that I want to announce. It's called Phoenix Igniter. This is basically a starter kit for Phoenix apps. If you're watching this channel, I'm sure you know that the Phoenix framework is a very productive MVC-ish framework for the Elixir programming language kind of like Rails is for Ruby or uh, Laravel is for PHP. And what I've made is basically just a, a bit more of a starting point past what you get from the default installation of the app. There's certain things that you want to make in almost every app, um, such as authentication, which is actually built into a lot of other frameworks, um, plugs for restricting routes, say, you know, only logged in users can go to certain pages and only admin users can go to other pages. I've built in both of those as well as some things for uh, restricting, say, uh, you might want to have a user only be able to edit their own profile, but not other users' profiles, regardless of whether if they're logged in, you know, you can't edit someone else's information. So um, that's, I've made a plug for that and I've set up some OAuth integration I've already set up some custom SEO metadata so that you can uh, basically add a meta dot whatever template dot HTML dot EEX. So for example, in your users, uh, you could have like a, a show dot HTML dot EEX. You can make a meta dot show dot HTML dot EEX and that would uh, just be a template where you put in metadata like what um, you know what are the Twitter card title and creator and description values and what how about open graph values for Facebook sharing like what photo do you want to show up when you share on Facebook that kind of stuff and page titles like all of this kind of thing is pretty important for any content based site you know any anything where SEO and, and social media is a big component of how your site's going to get traffic. Tailwind CSS integration and some custom UI components. I'm working on both of those right now. And eventually an admin panel, a job scheduler, and event analytics. Now this is essentially the offer is to save you some time. If you have to do these things when you make a new app and you're a professional developer, your time is worth something. So the goal is provide, you know, enough time savings for you that it's worth it for you to get this. And I'm actually using Phoenix Igniter myself. I've, uh, I've used it to build itself. So for example, this, uh, this OAuth integration, I am using that plus uh, another module I did to get GitLab support for this site. And if you have a GitLab account and you're logged in, just click log in with GitLab. And that's all you need to do to create an account or to log in. And once you have done so, you'll have a link to the checkout page. If you're interested, it's 75% off right now while it's in alpha. So it's uh, an especially good bargain now, as long as you're, you know, you're patient and you understand I'm still building things. Um, that'll give you access to a repo where you can uh, set it as a remote so that as I add new things, you can pull those features and merge them into your app, whatever you're building. When you pull it down, you'll basically see uh, just a, a default Phoenix app with a few links for things that are already built out, such as uh, users already exist. There's already an accounts context. You've already got uh, email, password, login set up, and you can make, or make new users or login with that. Um, I've also set up OAuth with Google, Facebook, GitHub, and Twitter. You will have to add your own credentials in here. Like uh, I, I'm going to show you Google in a second. So you'll have to either put your own client ID and client secret that you get from Google to log in for your app into here. Or since I've made the default system.get environment of each of these strings, you can just export those to your system variable, environment variables and then log in that way, which is what I've done here. So I'll click this create user, which will just go to uh, locals 4000 slash auth slash Google. 
and the others would be like slash auth slash Facebook, whatever logs you in or creates a user. And the permissions that I had mentioned are already implemented. Let me go to user controller. See, I've got this plug for logged in user. So certain things are only doable when you're logged in. Correct user, for example, editing your own data, you can only do for yourself. Like if I try to edit user number two's data, I don't have access. Then for authenticate admin, I've set up this poker face true option, which makes it so that it doesn't even show you that it's an option. So users, instead of getting a you don't have access message, We'll just get a page not found. So only admins would see that anything existed here at all. Um, anyway, there are a bunch of things I'm working on. It's, uh, you know, it's slowly getting built out. If this is something you're interested in, at the very least, I suggest that you go to phoenixigniter.com and put in your email. I will be letting people know what the updates are. And I think if you're a professional developer and you're you know, maybe going to make a side project on your own, build a SaaS, build a content site. It's probably worth the time trade-off. If you're just learning Elixir, it's probably not worth it. In that case, I would say go to Alchemist Camp on YouTube or just alchemist.camp and then check out the, uh, the playlist for all Elixir learning videos. I've actually made over a hundred and pretty much everything I'm doing in Phoenix Igniter is taught in these videos. So that would be um, that would be where I would get started if you're not really serious about building anything with Elixir yet, but you're interested in learning it. So anyway, that's my big new announcement. I'm very happy to have a second product out there along with Alchemist Camp, Phoenix Igniter, and I hope you check it out.